So if you watched the Borderlands show on Twitch, you probably would have seen the DLC4 teaser image they shared. Yes, this one's seen on screen now. Krieg, people, he returns, and today we discuss ideas on his actual return. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and today I'll bring you another BR3 video. If you did enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out, and subscribe if you do want to see more. So Krieg returns, although they themselves didn't confirm this, the teaser image they shared more or less did. Now I know 95% of people watching this will know exactly who this character is, but for those who don't, let's just have a recap. So Krieg was introduced as the 6th DLC character in Borderlands 2. He was originally released on May 14th 2013, which feels like a lifetime ago. So Krieg is basically what people would consider a lunatic, a killer, a maniac, you name it, that's what he was referred to. But to many people like he did to me, he became a fan favourite. So reading from fandom, which has way more details than I can remember, though it is uncertain what caused Krieg's uh, transformation into a psychotic killer, the game provides evidence hinting at an antithetical personality in the past. This is established by a fractured remnant of his psyche manifesting itself as an inner voice within his mind. It reveals that Krieg had previously engaged in Vault Hunter-esque activities, such as aiding the needy and getting paid with loot. The voice also seeks to control Krieg's lust for murder by limiting his victims to those deserving punishment. Anthony Birch has described Krieg's psychosis, comparing Krieg to a man driving an out of control truck. He cannot stop the truck, but he can try and steer it away from as many innocents as possible. Players were originally introduced to Krieg as he wandered through Pandora's wastelands, eliminating bandits with his buzz axe. He encounters Maya, who initially believes him to be hostile. She immediately opens fire on him, inadvertently attracting the attention of a group of rats. Too focused on Krieg, Maya fails to notice the rats approaching from behind. Krieg salvages the situation by throwing his buzz axe at the rats, saving Maya from peril. Afterward, Maya warms to Krieg, and the two congregate. Krieg is last seen clinging to the train carrying the original Vault Hunters to Wingshire Waste. And after the events of Handsome Jack's attempt to destroy their Crimson Raiders, Krieg exiles himself away in the wastes of Pandora. Having become smitten with Maya and wishing to see her again, his inner voice tries to coach himself into speaking more coherently and overall act less hostile around others. With limited success, during his time, Tiny Tina manages to find Krieg and wishes to have him instruct her on behaving like a bandit. Shortly after the destruction of Sanctuary, he somehow hears about Maya planning to leave Pandora and goes to track her down, with some effect. Krieg is able to convey a message to her wishing that she would stay. While upset over her determination to return to her home planet, Krieg takes some solace in Maya promising to return back to Pandora to see him again. So it's quite clear from his exit from the game. The one thing most of us remember was his connection to Maya, besides his split personality which was absolutely incredible. And well now, we all know, spoiler alert, 3, 2, 1, Maya is now dead. So with his return in DLC 4, I'm guessing he learns of this. I mean does this then send him mad, I know that's a weird one as one would argue he already is. But looking at the teaser image, in my opinion what we are seeing here is that of a split persona. He seems to be hinting at his mental state, one side of it being a normal image while the other side being broken into pieces which would in reality represent his psycho mind. Now this doesn't really tell us much because that's Krieg from the first day we met him. But what if this DLC is called something along the lines of inside the mind of a psycho? Because although I think many may have forgot, Randy Pitchford teased this idea at PAX a little while back. Yeah, take a uh, listen. And the Moxie heist definitely is in the upper echelon of anything we've ever done in Borderlands in any previous game. And we're keeping that trend up with all of our campaign DLCs. This is going to be the most value-packed season pass, I think, in the history of games. Uh, and we, we can see ahead. Now, working backwards from the end, we're just beginning DLC 4. So I can't, I don't, there's, there's still so much uncertain about it. But I wanted to give you a little list of hints. Um, about 
what the nature of DLC 4 is. Uh, there's a character that I love, that a lot of us love, that was not in Borderlands 3, and uh, we think that that character deserves uh, a showcase. And, uh, and not just that character, there's gonna be lots of characters, fan favorites, and uh, new and old. And, uh, and basically, uh, the hint that I'll give you is we're going to see, and this isn't locked in stone yet, so don't crucify me later if we change things because we're just getting started on this, but uh, we're going to see if we can experience what it's like to be inside the head of the wildest psycho we know. I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> um, so what he suggests is what I think this DLC will revolve around, us entering the mind of Krieg, maybe living out some of his past memories maybe learning much more about him, how he became this way. And well, I'm sure we will learn the effects on him from the fact that Namaya is dead. How will this affect the mind of Krieg? Now, there have been some clues about Krieg through echo logs found throughout the game, and we saw evidence that Krieg tried or is trying to tell Maya he misses her. Take a listen to them. situation with the Spinax is always thirsty for the meat juice great well at least I can finally speak a little bit even if it's only in here alone or at least as alone as I can get Ugh, friends forever now shut up so yeah guys what I feel is upon Krieg's inevitable return we enter his mind maybe play through some of his memories maybe learn more about him hear his thoughts along the way, no doubt himself narrating his own memories as we're experiencing them, and also maybe experiencing one way or another the outcome of his learning of Maya and her demise. 
Now, I've seen a few people say that maybe, just maybe, they will bring him back as a playable character. I mean, that would be amazing, but I feel us actually playing through his memories and not playing as him is better for the game. Let's face it, we still have loads to learn about this dude. And it's that learning which I believe is the important part of this fourth DLC installment and the game and the franchise. I highly, highly doubt he will return as a playable character. I mean, if you want to play as him, go back to Borderlands 2. Because Randy Pitchford says, we will get to experience what it's like to be inside the head of the wildest cycle. That's the statement right there. So yeah guys, really exciting times ahead. And do please let me know your thoughts down below in that comments section. How do you feel this DLC will pan out? What impact will Krieg have on the game? How will he learning of Maya's death affect him? What do you think? Will we meet Krieg as a psycho? Already knowing about Maya? Or is it something we experience with him? Man, I got so many questions. But yeah, for sure great times ahead. And guys, be sure to let me know your theories on this DLC down below and on that note guys we have come to the end of the video if you guys enjoyed it leaving a like really helps me out if you're new around here and want to see more borderlands be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video i upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button and if you guys want to support me directly and become family click that join button and become a member of my channel but again thanks as always for stopping by hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully i will see you on that next one